Tonight, the Georgia Department of Corrections is asking for your help in locating a man who was convicted of killing his brother-in-law. So we have a picture of him right here. This is Melvin Barkley. He was being housed at a transition center and has been missing since February 2nd. So that's when authorities say he did not return from his work assignment. 11 Alive's Karis Belger joins us live and has the latest details. What's going on here, Karis? Well, just a few hours ago, I spoke with the Coweta County District Attorney. He said, based on the terms of Barkley's plea deal, he should have been serving time in prison, not eligible for parole or housed at a transitional facility. Georgia correctional officers are currently looking for this man, Melvin Barkley. They say he was supposed to return to a transitional facility on Ponce de Leon in Atlanta after completing his work assignment last week. According to authorities, he's been missing since February 2nd. The victim father, I believe, the victim family at very least, um, came to the office is my understanding. Coweta County District Attorney Herbert Cranford Jr. says he was not aware until recently that Barkley was missing from the transitional facility. He also says he was not eligible for parole based on the terms of his plea deal. He pleaded guilty to manslaughter last year for the murder of his brother-in-law. We frank frankly regarded this sentence as pretty close to resolving it as a murder, given that it was a 30 year non parolable sentence. And then what we got out of it was the certainty of a conviction. A statement from the Georgia Department of Corrections says Barkley was assigned to the transitional center on November 21st of last year based on a prior theft conviction and that he should have been transported to prison after pleading guilty to a voluntary manslaughter charge. There's currently an investigation into why that didn't happen. So DA Cranford says his, offered, his office is prepared to offer any assistance if they are in fact asked to assist in this case. And I've also learned that the Georgia Department of Corrections is right now with their fugitive unit looking for Barkley.